What's up, Madden community? MT Square back with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. And today, we just found out all of the information on the 11 cards coming with the All Madden release part two, which comes out tomorrow, Thursday, November 3rd. In this video, I'm gonna show you the stats on all 10 of the 93 cards, plus the free 90 overall you can get from the solo challenges. We're also gonna discuss the implications on theme teams and the pros and cons of switching to a Legends theme team because there are new bonuses to having a Legends theme team when you have the All Madden players. If you do enjoy this video or find it helpful, hit that like button and subscribe so you can see my daily videos. All right, so starting off with Tony Siragusa, who is the free 90 overall you get from the solos. With his recent passing, I think I'm, uh, it's pretty awesome that EA made it possible for everyone to get him for free, and he's definitely a very usable DT at this point in the game. I'll go over his and everyone else's abilities at the end of the video. I've got a separate slide that will show everyone uh, what the special abilities that each they get and the cost. So. Goose has 77 speed, 80 acceleration, 93 strength, 87 tackling, 88 play rec, 93 block shed, 92 power move, and 86 finesse move. Next up, we have Steve Young here. Oh, by the way, Goose uh, gets Colts and Ravens chemistries on top of the Legends chemistry. Steve Young gets 89 speed, 93 throw power, 91 short accuracy, 94 medium, 90 deep, 95 throw into pressure, 93 throw on the run, and 90 play action. Uh, Steve Young will get 49ers and also a Bucks team chemistry. So he started off his career with the Bucks. Not very many people remember that, but he will also get Bucks chemistry along with Legends. Um, I think a lot of people are pretty excited for Steve Young to be in the game. He gets some pretty good abilities too, which is nice. Um, we'll be interested to see what his release is. That has not yet been announced. We got Barry Sanders here with 93 speed, 91 acceleration, 94 agility, 88 carrying, 70 catching, 95 change of direction, 83 trucking, and 94 break tackle. Obviously, Barry only gets the Lions and Legends chemistries. We have Jonathan Ogden here, left tackle with 94 strength, 93 awareness, 94 pass block, 93 pass block power, 91 pass block finesse, 94 run block, 93 run block power, and 90 run block finesse. Only gets the Ravens team chemistry. Next up, we have Devin Hester, our first of two wide receivers. 93 speed with 91 jumping, 91 catch, 89 catch in traffic, 80 expect catch, 92 short, 90 medium, and 94 deep. We've got Cooper Cup, 91 speed, 82 jump, a little low there in my opinion, 92 catch, 94 catch in traffic, 92 spec catch, 91 short route running, 93 medium and 92 deep. He gets Rams chemistry. They did not say on the stream if the current day players will get Legends chemistry, so it'll be interesting to see if these cards do based off of the promo that we're in, but I'm guessing that they will not get the Legends chemistry um, in, uh, in that they'll only get their teams that they played for. Next up, we have Derek, Bru Derek Brooks, uh, outside linebacker, has 90 speed, 89 acceleration, 83 strength, 90 tackling, 89 play rec, 88 block shed, 57 power move, and 81 finesse move. So not a uh, pass rushing uh, linebacker by any means. He's a pass coverage archetype as well, um, and his abilities uh, reflect that as well. I'll go over those in a moment. Derek Brooks will get Bucks and Legends chemistries. Ryan Erlacher is next. He's got 89 speed, 92 acceleration, 84 strength, 91 tackling, eight, 93 play rec, 93 block shed, 94 hit power, and 88 zone coverage. He only gets Bears and Legends chemistries. Mike Haynes up next. 92 speed, 92 acceleration, 91 agility, 94 jump, 89 play rec, 93 man, 93 zone, 93 press. He will get Raiders, Patriots, and Legends chemistries. Definitely the new best corner back in the game he is six foot two which is nice so he's got some nice uh height to him as well aaron donald 88 speed 91 acceleration 92 strength 87 tackling 89 play rec 93 block shed 93 power move and 92 finesse move obviously only gets the rams chemistry um again i'll go over their abilities but he gets edge threat for only two ability points the first uh, pass rusher in the game to get edge threat for a discounted ability at two ability points, which I think is huge. I think he'll be on a lot of people's teams simply because of that, but also because of his stats being so good. And the last card here, we have Micah Parsons with 92 speed, 90 acceleration, 84 strength, 89 tackling, 87 play rec, 92 block shed, 83 power move, and 93 finesse move. Speed rusher archetype obviously only will get the Cowboys uh, team chemistries. And this is how you can get the 93 overall All Madden cards. How expensive will they be? 
it was uh, not announced if there will be re-roll re-rolls, which I really hope there will be because if there is not, these cards are each going to cost close to a million coins. The announcement of training variety packs being back, which these cards will not be in them, has already shot up the cost of training, and that is only going to get higher tomorrow once the training variety packs are actually available. The 89 all Madden cards have shot up in price as well. They're up to 120,000 coins because of the fact that you can use them to get the sets. Um, so if, uh, and they will continue to go up tomorrow once the promo is out. So you're looking at seven times probably 150,000 coins or so to make a 93, that's a million coins. I just tweeted out to EA hoping that they make the 89s BN, BND so that you get them back. If they do this, it will make the 93s a little bit cheaper, which will be nice, and it will make the market of the 89s at a, at a better and more consistent price since people won't have to rebuy the 89s to put them back on their team, or you can sell them for training um, as part of your profit. So here is a list of special abilities each player gets, and there are a lot. I'm not going to go through each of them, but I do want to point out that each player will be able to pair any of the first three abilities with the fourth. So you can combine two of them only if the fourth one is uh, part of it. So the fourth ability will have its own ability bucket. So you can't put two of the first three together, um, or you may be able to just not add the discounted ability points. Um, that has not been announced yet if one of those will be like in ability slot two. So we'll have to wait and see tomorrow when the actual promo come out. Um, but I would have liked to personally have like slot matic and short in elite on cup, but it is what it is. At least some of the abilities can be paired together. And feel free to pause this video if you'd like here, if you want to look at some of the abilities, but I'm gonna move on to theme team discussions. Um, I just, just wanna point out some of the real popular ones, probably Derek Brooks getting Lurker for zero ability points. Definitely pretty, uh, pretty huge. Um, the fact that uh, Hester gets a return man for zero ability points is also pretty huge. Cup gets short in elite for zero ability points, also gets Slotomatic for two ability points. So again, you gotta choose which one you want. Aaron Donald getting edge threat for two ability points and Michael Parsons getting um, edge threat elite for three ability points. So that gives the uh, faster pass rushing from edge threat and then also under pressure built into that ability as well. Um, um, Barry Sanders gets evasive for zero ability points. That's another huge one. Um, and Human Joystick for only one ability point. And then Steve Young, he will have Gunslinger for one ability point. Pass Lead Elite for three ability points is pretty huge. So I think that'll probably be a popular um, combination that people will use with Steve, Long, Steve Young. Again, it'll be interesting to see um, what uh, release he has, because again, that has not been announced. All right, so um, again, feel free to uh, pause the previous slide, um, but should you switch your theme team or should you switch to a legend theme team? Here are some of the bonuses you will get to both 89 overall all Madden cards, the 93 overalls, and then also the Dave Casper and Deion Sanders season champions. So. Um, if you collect all 10 release two champions and equip the all Madden team chemistry to boost uh, them, all of the 89s will get a plus two boost in overall. So Bruce Matthews, Bruce Smith, Joe Montana, Lawrence Taylor, Mike Allstott, Randy Moss, Ronnie Lott, Sam Mills, Tony Gonzalez, and Warren Sapp. Those were all the 89s in the first release. They will all be boosted up to a 91 overall. Out of position, Randy Moss will get boosted up to an 88. He was an 86 overall originally. And then if you collect all 10 of the release two champions, uh, Tony Siragusa also, and the season two field pass champion, Deion Sanders, um, it will give all of the release two champions, Siragusa, Deion Sanders, and Dave Casper the following boost. They will get plus one to speed, strength, acceleration, awareness, jumping, and play rec. So if you are running a 40 out of 40 Legends theme team, they're gonna get the boost for that plus this. So um, all of those cards are actually gonna get, gonna get plus two to speed, strength, acceleration, awareness, and jumping. And then um, since those are um, the benefits you get from that, and then plus one to play rank, actually they'll get plus two to strength, plus two to aware, um, jumping, and then agility, they'll get plus one and plus one to awareness. Lots of boosts, so very confusing. Um, but the key ones obviously are the speed and acceleration that all of those players will get plus two uh, too. So I ran a 40 out of 40 Legends team team early on in the game and it was expensive and it's 
only going to be more expensive now if you want to get all 10 of these all madden uh release two cards building a 40 out of 40 legends team team really isn't that expensive at this point now because there's lots of free cards that you can get there's a uh, decent amount of 89 to 90 overalls that go for uh under 100 or around 100 000 coins well that was before the trading shot up in price uh, but power-ups for legends also get legends chemistry so that's a cheap way uh, to have some of your backups um, that gets legend legends chemistry um, but if you want all of 10 of these all madden cards it's probably going to cost you somewhere in the 7 to 10 million coin range in my opinion um, just for those 10 cards alone um, but doing so will get your barry sanders up to 95 speed and devin hester will have 95 speed six foot two mike haynes will have 94 speed the 89s that get upgraded to 91 sounds like a really cool idea, but honestly, the 89s are pretty outdated at this point. Ronnie Lott only had 86 speed, so he'll probably go up to 88 speed with his 91 overall. So he'd be at 89 speed with the Legends Ken Boost. Lawrence Taylor had 85 speed on his 89 overall card, so maybe he gets bumped up to 87, maybe 88, then 89 with the Legends Boost. So. Um, you're going to use that card. Are, are you going to use that card or the new Parsons and Aaron Donald as your edge rushers? I, I just don't think it's worth it, honestly. Don't get me wrong. We have some insane cards for this promo. Some of the new best cards in the game, which you would expect since we have uh, just increased overalls from 92s to 93s. But for the amount of points to spend, I just don't think that uh, it's, a, that the, it's enough for it to be worth it. I still think 50 out of 50 theme teams are the way to go right now. EA has done an exceptional job this year compared to years past, balancing out theme teams. And some theme teams got some real nice upgrades. So personally, I am switching out of my Dolphins theme team, which I do love, to be honest with you. Having Tyreek Hill and Mark Clayton as my top two wide receivers is awesome. They're both pretty short though, so I've had a little bit of uh, trouble because of that. And there's no good cornerback. So I have to use like all of my flex options on an offensive line and corners. So I am switching out of Dolphins and switching to the Rams. Rams have a solid secondary and adding in Donald who will have 90 speed on the speed team. And he gets edge threat for two ability points. Then having Cup with Slotomatic across from the speedster Dante Hall, who I just bought for only 180,000 coins, by the way. I'm pretty excited about how this theme team turns out. Other theme teams getting some nice upgrades are the Ravens with Ogden, Tester, and Saragusa. Raiders and Patriots both get Mike Haynes, um, the new best corner in the game. Bears get Hester and Erlacher. Lions get Barry Sanders. Cowboys get Micah. So those theme teams, I think, got the best upgrades for this release, in my opinion. Obviously, other teams got some, um, but the Bucks getting, you know, um, actually, the Bucks get um, not just Derek Brooks, but they also get Steve Young. So, um, And 49ers get Steve Young also. So if you're not using John Elway, uh, Steve Young is probably going to be the best quarterback in the game now. Um, and that's it for today's video, guys. Kind of a long one, but lots to go over and to discuss. Thank you for sticking around. If you did enjoy this video or found it helpful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you can see my daily videos. And thank you for watching this video.